Hello guys, Saprin here from FTFO, and in today's video, we are going to do together a second tutorial about Salme Shaper. So if you didn't watch the first tutorial I did, this uh, Salome Shaper is a module of Salome, so it's a new module that allows you to do a parametric CAD like this one. So this is the part that I'm going to demonstrate to you and we'll go step by step on how to create this part. So let's start. So I just opened a new Salome uh, 9.3 window. I'm on Windows uh, and let's open create a new project, a new document. And the second thing to do is to open this uh, Salome Shaper module. Once you did that, uh, don't forget to save your model. Very important, always save. Because, you know, always you'll have some problems afterwards if you don't save. Okay, now the first thing to do is to create a new part. So you have a small button here, a uh, new part. And don't forget this step because, you know, it happened to me several times. I forget to create a new part, then I start creating the model and all. And I realize why it doesn't work. Um, I cannot add some of uh, the options here as well because I forgot to create a new part. So you don't forget to create a new part. Okay, I cannot say that enough. Okay, once you did that, the first step is to create a sketch. So let's go for a sketch and let's go on... Um, Choose well the face, so it should be this one. And let's set the plane view. So I like to I like to start by this. Um, and now let's create the sketch of uh, my the main, let's say the, the main wire that will be used to create my pipe. Um, I prefer to look at it on the other side, so I'll just change the camera like this. Don't ask me why. Um, okay, and I put drawing a line like this. Then I'll draw an, an arc. So I'll use the first method to draw the arc. Start with this point. Oh, you know, you know why? I'll use the second method. Second method. Okay, so it'll get something like that, but don't worry after. Okay, I can change the angle like this. Right. Then let's let's create another segment. Okay, now that I have this, let's put some constraint over this. So uh, the first constraint is that this segment and the arc should be, should be um, tangent. So let's add some tangency here and here. I already look better. And same between this one and this one. And what we look, what we are looking for is that this all become green. When it becomes green is that it's uh, fully constrained. If it's not fully constrained, well, you can move your uh, your model like this. Uh, so that's not, not very good. Okay. Um, so the second thing to do is to put that one horizontal. This one will be vertical, like this. Those two will have the same size. Now let's um, set up the length. So the length of this one will be 150. And the uh, radius, okay. radius of the circle will be uh, 200. 60. Okay. Um, and now I need, I still have one constraint left. Uh, it's basically uh, now I can move this um, wherever I want. So I have to constrain that to the center. And if you remember, the center is not shown by default on this one. So I have to go back on the construction, and there is a very small I here that you have to activate. Uh, if you don't know that, you'll never find this. And now that you got that, you can make this to collinear. So select this point and the origin, and now it becomes green. So once you do that, you can validate the sketch. And 
Okay, and I'm ready to create a wire out of this. So there is uh, this wire command. And you see, if you didn't create a part, those comments here will um, will not appear. So you'll ask, you'll wonder yourself why uh, those comments are not available. And that's because you forgot the part. So again, don't forget to create a part. Okay, now select the three segments here. So you have to keep the shift command pressed on the keyboard. Okay, and now I have the wire. So the wire will be useful to create um, my pipe. So well, yeah, before I do that, I need to create um, another sketch for uh, the thickness of the pipe. So let's create the second sketch. Sketch on this face here. And um, let's set the plane view. This sketch here will be very simple, just two circles. One circle and uh, another circle. Let's constrain the radius. So this this one will be 145, and this one 105. Okay. So as you oh, sorry, grin. All is good now. Okay, so now let's um, let's extrude that. So uh, it's not extrusion. There is a command actually called pipe. So I'll use this command, and let's choose this as the base object. Make sure you select the surface, not the edge. Because you see, you can select edges, you can select surface. You have to click at the middle of those two edges to be able to select the surface. Now let's select the pass object. I'll select the wire here. Okay, uh, you have to select the one which is shown in results. Okay, because as you see there are two types of shapes in the tree. Um, they are the shapes here, the one you you can, this is kind of the input, the comment uh, that you can edit, and this is the result of the comments. So the object that you create at the end appear into the result pipe. So the wire I created here appear as a result in the wire. So this is the one I have to select in order to create this shape. Okay, so once you do that, validate. And now I have um, I have my first, let's say, the first part of my model. Now let's uh, attack the this part here on this side. So I create another sketch. Let's select this face here. It set the plane view and let's make let's make a square like this right once uh, I did that so the, the really the most complex parts here is to find the right set of constraint so that it becomes green um, and everything is constrained correctly. That's the challenging part here. So for this rectangle here, the first, well, it's a, it's a square, so those two should be equal. So let's go to the equal. Let's set this side and this one equal to each other. Okay. Um, next thing is that I want, um, I want basically this square the middle of the square to go through this center. So how, how can I do that? Um, the way is to create a line. And you see, when you click on line, there is a button here, auxiliary. So this will create construction lines. So I'll click on this one, select this point here and this one, and you created um, auxiliary line. Let's create a second one. So if you, if you forgot to select auxiliary, you can still click on the line and, uh, and choose auxiliary. Now that this is done, um, next step is to align the center at the center of those two. So the way to do that is to use collinear two times, uh, coincidence, sorry, coincidence two times. So you choose a center, this line. Well, maybe there's another way, I don't know, but. That's the easiest way I found. Coincident is with this line here. And now your square is at the middle. 
Now let's set up the size of this rectangle. So let's here. And this should be 360. Enter. OK. And now we have um, this sketch so I can validate. Um, now I created this plane, but I will have to create four holes as well in it. So I'm kind of anticipating I could create another sketch and do all the stuff, but why not create it, uh, creating it on the same sketch? So let's go back and edit this sketch. So you can edit uh, this those sketch, and let's add um, let's add another shape here for my hole, basically. So let's add a circle. This will have a certain radius. 20 and uh, this should be coli this should be coincident with this line here and the way to constrain that to the center um, well there are f there are several ways but the way I found was to use this vertical distance you know you could probably find another way to do this but Let's use 136, 335 for this one. So, well, whatever, uh, you can use any value you want and you can change that afterwards. So that's the value I chose here. Um, okay, so now my sketch is uh, ready and I'll go to the next step, which is to extrude this. So let's, let's click on extrusion. And let's select this. And I want actually to extrude with the circle in it, so I don't have to uh, to create the circle afterwards for the middle. So what I'll do is that I modify again the sketch, and I want this circle here inside my sketch, right? So there is a function for this called projection. Click on projection click on the, the inner radius and now you should have it inside. So it's not obvious that it worked, but if I hide my pipe here, um, I kind of hide my sketch. The second sketch, you see that the center was added. So um, now I can go again for the extrusion. Say like this, you see the, the hole at the center has been added. And I don't want yet to, to extrude the hole here and you'll see why. So I'll, I'll add this. You can select several parts and click on shift so you can extrude those two surfaces at the same time. Um, and I'll extrude them in the other direction and for a distance of 50, like this. And just click on extrude. Okay, so I have this extruded. Um, now, if I hide this extrusion, okay. So I have this, I'll do a fillet on the on angles. So here I have to, again, I have to choose very well, look at the color when the, when the color is exactly only the edge, not the surface, you have to click. And um, I have to select like that, pressing shift select the four the four edges like this 20 okay and now my fillet is done now how will i make those holes uh, on this well to make the holes uh, i'll use this circle first so what i'll do is uh, I'll do an extrusion of only this part first. So let's, uh, for the moment, let's just hide, let's just hide this. And let's extrude again, just, just this part here. 50 in this direction here. Okay. And I want four holes. So I'll use a function called, um, Angular copy, select this, and here I have to choose um, 
access here. I want four copies. Okay, I have it. And now the only thing I have to do is to basically cut into um, this. So for that, I'll use the Boolean operation cut, select this one as the main shape, and the tool object will be uh, the angular copy. Okay, and now I got my um, I got my face here. So, so I'm almost done. So um, what I wanted to do at the beginning was to take the, this part that I uh, modeled and just create an axis here and copy that at a certain angle to get it here. Um, but I realized that this part here, uh, it's a parametric part, right? So I may want to change only the dimension of this part uh, after I model that to, to see and to simulate afterwards uh, the difference. So if I was to rotate this, um, I might not exactly get the, the flexibility I want uh, later on. So that's why it's very important to have a strategy when you do this kind of uh, modeling. So instead of you know going the easy way, I'll just re um, go through the same process that I went to model this one on this side. And I'll try to go fast on this one. So let's see how it goes. So first is to create a sketch on this one, set the plane um, on the other side. Okay, let's create a rectangle. Let's constrain that. This and this should be the same. Let's um, project center here. Oh, let's project this circle, right? And uh, now that I have a circle, yeah, I can, well, I don't really need this center actually. Um, yeah, so I, I won't do this one. Let's create the auxiliary lines. This second one. That, let's constrain using coincident, this point in this line, second time this line, this point, okay. Let's put, let's give it the length of 360. Enter. Okay. Uh, now again, I need uh, this this uh, circle. So put it here. Radius of twenty. This should be coincident between the center and this. And I'll put a distance. Let's say vertical or horizontal, maybe this one and this one. And it was 136, 335. I'll put the same uh, same values that on the other side. Okay, validate the sketch. Extrude that. So am I extruding in the right direction? No. Should be 50 here, zero here. And I should be selecting also this face. Okay. Yep. Now let's do the fillets. So go on the edges here. Have to be very precise in the selection and keep the shift key to select the right edge. Let's 
sun. Uh, one, one more to go. 20 for the radius. Yeah, and that's it. Right. Okay, and now uh, the holes. So let's hide this temporarily. Let's do 50 and 0. Okay, let's do the angular. Uh, now we'll get into a small problem is that I don't have any access here for uh, to do the, the rotation. So I can create actually one axis using this function here, axis. And I'll use um, maybe this plane so you can select this and this point here. And this will automatically create one axis I can use for the rotation. Then let's use this angular copy. This one, this axis I just created. I want four of those. Okay, let's reactivate my fillet and let's do a cut of that. So the main object and no, not this one. And uh, I want this angular copy stuff. Yep. Okay. And that's it. So now my part is completed. So what I can do is that I have those three. Um, so let's um, let's show only those three without the sketches and all. Um, and what I can do is that I can, if I want, fuse them together. Um, let's do that to create only one part. And then I can, um, if I want to work on this part, I can export it into step file. So you have file, export, uh, export native. I don't know if it's this one. You have you have an export button somewhere. Import, export. That's the one. Click on export. You, know, you choose the file. You give it a name, uh, etc. And you can get, have it on step, or you can directly export it to. Um, export it uh, into geom. I think you had this function export to geom and then you can open it directly in the, in the geom module. Okay, so that, that's it for this uh, video. I hope it was very useful. Um, if you find a way to do it better than that, uh, please leave a comment. Please let me know. Uh, I know that um, there is some margin for improvement we all have. Uh, so if you find a way to make the spot much faster and much better than me, uh, let me know. Uh, so anyway, thank you very much for watching. And if you have any idea of things you want to see next or, um, or anything really, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe to my channel, like my video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.